task is Ford has been an absolute beast here this weekend. 339.87 miles an hour last night in almost identical conditions to right now. What can he do as he's ready to go? Now, I'll tell you, that 382 that the Proc family just laid down, that's pretty close to all this racetrack has. If either of these cars are going to outrun that, they've got to be virtually perfect. The whole idea by this event was to bring the superstars together for a shootout. We're about to do it here. Final qualifying here. Tasca through the lights, four shut down. Tasca goes to number two, 3840, 341.680. I told you, Jack Beckman, it was going to happen. 341.680. Eight miles an hour. That is history on the final pass of qualifying here at Bradenton in this inaugural event. And if you folks are wondering why we paused a couple seconds to announce that number, it can't believe I saw what I saw. Sense. It's never been on a scoreboard before. And Bob's dad, Bob Tasca, too, is beside himself. I would love to see half track speed on that run. 290.88, actually less half track speed than they had last night. That car picked up 51 miles an hour from 660 feet to the finish line. And there's Bob's son, Austin, down there. And that's that's just, uh, gosh, I'm out of adjectives. Magnificent, stupendous, unbelievable, the best. Stunning. Wow. Absolutely stunning. The Skag Power Equipment Pro Superstar Shootout presented by JHG was all about bringing the best together to throw down for huge money and big ego moments. And we got the big ego moment there. We get the big money tomorrow. Watch Tasca here closest to you. And folks, this is the greatest run of all time for Funny Car. You're just seeing a milestone not just be broken, be shattered by over one mile an hour. And in this sport, that's forever. Wow. And there it is on the board. 341.68. I'm still struggling with this, Ralph. Um, but I'm not a skeptic. That the, the numbers look legit there. That car was uh, 866 to 60 foot. It was 3.124 to, uh, to half track there at 290.88 miles an hour. ET at the finish line, 384 with a zero. It's a good ET. It's, it's, not, it's not even the quickest ET of the weekend, but 341.68 miles an a hour. A mile an hour shot heard round the world, no doubt about it.